What is up everyone? Welcome back to Coastal Trail Media and today Curtis and I are going to go check out New River Beach for a day dive or two and so hopefully we get to see some cool stuff and I'd love to take you guys along for the journey. So stay tuned and let's do that. So a few weeks ago, I posted that video of the night dive with the lobsters. And this week, what I really want to try and do is actually kind of show you the difference during the day. I also get to test out my new camera, which is awesome. So I'll show you my new camera setup for that and we will we'll go for a dive. So it should be a good time. It's very excited. It's the first dive I actually get to lead here. So that's going to be an interesting experience for me. And I think it's going to be just an overall good time. Welcome to the vlog. Curtis just got here, so we're going to get in the water. This is the dive location of the day. My gear's all ready. Curtis is just slow. I'm kidding. We love Curtis. Curtis is a good dude. All right, so this is the new improved camera kit. We have the Olympus TG6, tough camera, the old GoPro 3. This is my first underwater camera. And then the two, so this is the old underwater dive light, LED, and it's the new one. It's a honker, so we're gonna test that out and see how it works today. It's not the nighttime, so it won't be as good, but. Alrighty, so on today's dive, we're exploring New River Beach. The bright, beautiful summer day made the visibility pretty awesome. Probably some of the greatest I've ever seen. So this site is great to explore because it has a huge variety of landscapes and potential underwater habitat. And so these different habitats actually naturally attract a variety of different marine species. We did manage to come across some cobble, which is basically small rocks pretty scattered about, and some actually much larger boulder fields. We also saw soft bottom or mud bottom where we can find iconic sand dollars here on the Atlantic coast, a near shore kind of seaweed forest, as well as some deeper water kelp forests that were actually attached to man-made concrete blocks, which act as an artificial reef in the area. So this made it so we came across a variety of species showing some unique behaviors. These are small barnacles that are actively feeding and they're so quick. So I actually have to slow down the footage so you can see them actually slowly comb through the water, collecting all sorts of floating debris and then pulling it back to their mouths. And we also came across this cute little fella, a winter flounder, which you can tell because he's actually lying on his left side, so his right side is up. You can tell just how well he camouflages and blends into the bottom and he relies on this camouflage mixed with staying still to avoid being detected by many predators. This big rock crab did get the camouflage part right, but not so much the staying still part. You can definitely see how well he, once he does settle down, he can fit into between these big rocks and stay protected. These rock crabs are not reserved, however, for these rocky habitats. This one here is out on a mud flat, surprisingly enough, where there's no cover at all. And we actually see in really close detail here, him using his smaller chelicera to consume all the little particles he's managed to collect on his claws. And so this is him actively feeding on material that he's pulled out of the water column. He wasn't the only crab. We did see this classic hermit crab, but he still hasn't quite grown into his new home. Probably the star of the dive, at least for me, was finding this red hake. It's a beautiful benthic fish that is pretty uncommon to find, especially during the day. So most of the time we'll see him out in the soft bottom areas at night, but in this case, he was actually hiding in and around these artificial reef blocks. Obviously, we couldn't end the dive without coming across some beautiful American lobsters. They live in here quite comfortably in the sheltered rocks and kelp forests surrounding the artificial reef blocks. And they can be feisty as normal, but in this case, they were more worried about not giving up their homes than interfering with us. So overall, this dive went for 82 minutes, water temperature was about 60 degrees, and we hit a max depth of 27 feet, with most of the dives being spent between that 20 and 25 foot range. 
We just finished diving. It's a good time. 82 minutes, 64 degree, 61, 64 degree water. So it's quite warm. My hair is a disaster, but that's beside the point. Chris, you have a good time? Oh yeah. Yeah. It was pretty cool. There's a lot of different kind of terrains and textures here. So a lot of different places to actually explore and cool things to see. Overall, good dive. It was almost a new record. It was Curtis's new personal record for dive time or yeah, dive length. So good day. Now we're gonna throw a football around, probably. Maybe go for a hike, we'll see. And we have officially decided to go on this small hike. And I think now what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and hit up to that point there. It's a little bit off trail, but Curtis is equipped with the shoes for the journey. Should be a good time. Let's try it out. So we found this dope ass cove that's beneath me and we're looking at maybe this rock is jumpable but this rock is really really tall and that water may not be deep enough so it is a trip for another day to figure out whether or not that's deep enough what is up guys finally back home now after the day adventuring so I just want to say thanks for watching. It was great to be out there with Curtis today, getting to explore New River Beach, getting to dive, getting to look for some cliff jump spots. It was a good time in the sun, beautiful day, and pretty inexpensive. So access to New River costs $10, and then a tank fill is about eight, nine bucks. So realistically, under $20, we had six or seven hours of fun, got a lot of activity, and it was really worth the time and the day. So with that, I want to say thank you very much for watching. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. If you're into learning more about how to make the most of a limited income and the most of your life, your minimalistic life. And so with that, thank you very much. Subscribe. Definitely check out some other videos when you've done this one. And I'll see you guys next week.